Welcome back, everybody. You just heard our panel break down the guilty plea from Michael Cohen, the president's former personal attorney. Joining us now live from Washington is Mr. Cohen's attorney, Lanny Davis. Great to see you, Lanny. Thank you for being here. Hi, Megan. All right. Time. So let me just take you back to March, uh, this past March, when Cohen had a different lawyer named David Schwartz, who came on this program, and I asked him about Mr. Cohen's claim at that time that Trump really had nothing to do with this, that Michael Cohen took care of it without Trump's knowledge. He paid off Stormy Daniels. It was 130,000 bucks. And Trump had nothing to do with it. Here's, that, here's part of that exchange. Listen. Michael Cohen signed the deal. Donald Trump didn't. And you are right. claiming that Michael Cohen, the president's lawyer and fixer, the Ray Donovan character, right. never, ever told Donald never. Trump about it. Never, never, never told him. And Michael Cohen d dispensed $130,000 of his own money and never sought reimbursement from uh, Donald Trump? 100%. Come on. So, so the way, but you no have, one believes that, David. Yeah, I, <laughs> no one believes that, David. I said, and it turns out it, it was not true, right? It wasn't true. It was not true. Why was his lawyer on national television saying it was? I have no idea. Does, did Michael Cohen claim that initially? I mean, are we, is David Schwartz misrepresenting there, or is Michael Cohen the misrepresenter? I can only guess, and it's not fair to Michael for me to guess, that he's undergone a, a transformation in evolution, whatever the word is, where he did a lot of things to defend Donald Trump that he now regrets. He's a new person. When he first called me, he told me, that he was changing his life and now telling the truth about Donald Trump, and that's why he wanted me to help him. It took me about two weeks to decide to agree. Of intense conversation with him, I suspect Mr. Schwartz may have been uh, listening to something that was not true the, the, uh, in defense of Donald Trump. The old, the old Michael Cohen um, said that he did this to protect Donald Trump and his family, that he would have done this 10 years before an election, 10 days before an election, didn't have anything to do with an election, which is how John Edwards got out of paying off his mistress uh, prior to his presidential race. What changed? I mean, is, was that not true at the time? This was, Michael Cohen now admits, to protect Donald Trump's election chances. Well, he admitted under oath in federal district court yesterday that he was directed and it was coordinated by Mr. Trump. But we're see, Mr. I'm Trump. asking you about motive now, motive for the payment. Motive for the payment in his sworn statement before a judge yesterday was the principal purpose was because of concern about the effect on a presidential election, which is a crime that he admitted to. And Mr. Trump, having directed him to do that, would be equally guilty of that crime. Does he, does Michael Cohen believe that Donald Trump committed a felony? There's no question that having pled to a felony yesterday and saying that Mr. Trump directed him to do what he did, that Mr. Trump would be guilty of the same crime as I tweeted yesterday. One could not be true without the other being true. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, no denying that Rudy Giuliani himself said that when Trump lied on Air Force One and said he didn't know anything about this, he really did. He knew about it. And there's Rudy Giuliani throwing a client under the bus. I mean, Giuliani, Giuliani told the Wall Street Journal that Trump didn't necessarily know about the payment at the time it was made, but that he did reimburse Cohen. You claim that he submitted a letter to the court, that, that Giuliani or, or, or Trump's lawyers committed a letter to the court taking full ownership of it, that Trump, that Trump, they admit now, is that what you're representing, that some letter to the court admits that Trump directed this? Well, I'm looking at uh, where I remember seeing a letter, and I have to admit that I'm looking for that letter, but I do remember very clearly Rudy Giuliani saying that Donald Trump lied on Air Force One when he said he didn't know about it. He, Giuliani and Michael, said... He, he reimbursed the payment. But Giuliani, to my recollection, has never admitted that Trump knew about it at the time, nor admitted that Trump directed well, it. Uh, I think that Rudy Giuliani specifically said, so he lied to the press about not knowing about it. That's not a crime. So uh, putting the pieces together, you have federal prosecutors in Manhattan, and you have Michael Cohen saying that specifically... Donald Trump directed and coordinated this payment, and is, that's a crime. Is there another shoe to drop in this case? I mean, yeah, I know that you told Rachel Maddow uh, Cohen has knowledge about that Trump Tower meeting, about uh, the possibility of conspiracy to collude and corrupt the election. 
about uh, the computer crime of hacking, this is quoting you now, and whether Donald Trump knew about it ahead of time. Um, and even it's been reported, you said Michael Cohen might have information for the prosecutors or for Mueller um, it, re it, that relate to the, the charitable foundation of the Trump family. Is all of that true? Do you stand by all of that? Well, I didn't tell Rachel Maddow anything about the Trump Tower meeting. I did say that it was my observation, because I can't reveal what my client has told me. He'll have to wait for Mr. Mueller and that conversation. Uh, but I did say that there is certainly something of interest to Mr. Mueller concerning Mr. Trump's knowledge of the hacking of a computer that was done and that could be a criminal offense. And do you believe at this point, based on what you know from Michael Cohen, you can't share it with us, but do you believe that Donald Trump has committed more than, than the felonies you've accused him of, more than just this election payoff? Yes, I do believe that based on the law of conspiracy, which is a, if a group of people get together with a Russian agent and one of the participants of the meeting is told we have dirt on Hillary Clinton and he says, I love it, uh, any overt act after that meeting to implement a plan of putting dirt out on Hillary Clinton that might involve the illegal invasion of a computer by hacking would be a criminal conspiracy. We'll just have to see what the facts that Mr. Mueller is looking at and one, show. And one other question. Do you believe that, so you believe Donald Trump has committed multiple felonies outside of election finance law. Do you believe that his family members have, his sons, his daughter, anyone else? I haven't ever seen any evidence about his daughter. I think that Trump Jr. is saying, I love it, participating in the meeting, and then the implementation of the plan at the meeting concerning dirt about Hillary we saw occur through the hacking of computers by Russian government officials. And we'll just okay. have to see whether Mr. Mueller can make that into a crime. Last Could question. Last question. Is, is Michael Cohen prepared to testify before Congress on this issue or before a grand jury on everything he knows? Michael Cohen has committed to telling the truth to whoever wants him to tell the truth. Beyond that, I'll have to leave that to Mr. Petrillo, his criminal uh, defense lawyer. But could I just take one opportunity to remind everyone that Michael Cohn has suffered a tragic and difficult experience with his family. He's without resources, and we've set up a website called MichaelCohnTruth.com that we're hoping that he will get some help from the American people so he can continue to tell the truth. The, the audience, is not, they don't know if you're ready to donate, Lanny, but I, we did check before we went to air. It's got $70,000 in it so far. And listen, we appreciate you coming on. I, w I would say the reaction of your audience may be that they're not as interested in getting the truth out about Donald Trump as uh, many other people in the country. Approximately 60% of the country would not have the reaction of your audience. Okay. By the way, it's, I, was, I overstated it. It's 20,000. It's not 70,000. But, you know, for Cohen's Hope, Hope Springs Journal, I guess. Lanny, all the best to you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.